Hi, welcome back. Um, in this video we're going to get some practice with spherical coordinates. So let's do a quick revisiting of where these formulas come from, just so that everybody is on the same page and feels more comfortable with them. So what we're doing is we're, we have some point in three space, and what we'd like to do is reference it as a triple of coordinates. And so what we have is we have rho, which is the distance from the origin to the point that we care about. So this is a, 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 a radial distance from the origin. And so in order to understand a little bit better what this is, we can take this plane that goes through this point that gets dropped down to the x y plane, so this red line, and when we do that what we get is we get a triangle, a right triangle, that has in it this angle that the this line makes with the z-axis, that's our phi, and that tells us, A, it tells us what the uh, the z direction is that gets us that this is rho times cosine of phi but it also gets us this distance from the point to the z axis and we're used to thinking of that as r so let's use that letter r to represent that so this distance that the point is from the z axis you can represent as rho sine of theta, sorry, rho sine of phi. And so if we now take this part, let me make it in blue, this part of the, the projection of our segment that goes from the origin to our point, and we draw it in the xy plane, then that's where we see where our angle theta is. This angle theta is the angle that this segment makes with the positive x-axis. And so that's telling us we know that the distance of this segment is rho sine of phi, and so then we can figure out what x is and y is by doing rho sine of phi cosine of theta and rho sine of phi sine of theta. So that's where these equations come from. And then if you want to go backwards, there's three different equations. We need to figure out what rho, phi, and theta are as a function of x, y, and z. And so we can do that by recognizing that the distance from the origin is rho is equal to rho squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then we can recognize that the distance from the z-axis, r, is equal to x squared plus, so r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So in uh, this left picture, what we see is that phi is the, is, can be represented as an arc, as a tangent, so tangent of phi can be represented as the opposite over the hypotenuse, and the opposite is this r divided by z, so we can write that as square root of x squared plus y squared all over z, that's where that equation comes from, and then we can write from this second picture, we can write down theta as a, tan the tangent of theta as an opposite over a hypotenuse as well, so we get the tangent of theta is equal to y over x, just like it was in the polar case. So um, there we've gone back over where these equations come from, and now let's apply them. Uh, but let's start over with a, a new video now that we have these equations. So next video we'll get some practice with those spherical coordinates.